But, um, so we want to talk about interpretation of skeletal structure. Now, why is this topic important? Is because most of the structures you're going to be seeing will be represented like this. Now, this is what I refer to as skeletal structure, right? Skeletal structure simply represents a case where lines is used to represent bond, and each of these points is used to represent carbons. Now, in skeletal structures, you're not going to see hydrogens, but then hydrogen will be inside of it. So for you to be able to understand how to name skeletal structure, you must understand that these lines you're seeing here stand for bond. These points stand for carbon. So in order for us to understand better what skeletal, how skeletal structure can be interpreted, I gave us these two points. I said, every end of line, intersection, or edge represents carbon. Now, what do I mean by end of line? This point is end of line. This is end of line. And this is end of line. So these three spots represent carbons. Now, intersection, obviously, where to all, two or more lines intersect or meet, right? So this intersection or edge, this is also intersection. So if I want to interpret this guy, this is, so this carbon here is this one. This line is this. This spot is carbon. This line is this. This spot is carbon. Now, there's a line down. And this guy, so this compound has four, or let's say how many carbons, five carbons. One, two, three, four, and five. So basically I've interpreted because I said every end of line, these points are end of lines. They are all carbons. Every intersection, this edge all represents carbon. Now these lines stand for bond. So I've done this. Now, for me to know the number of hydrogens that these carbons will actually have, because here, hydrogen is not showing. So for me to know the number of hydrogens that is present here, this is what I'll simply do. I'll say, to know the number of hydrogen on each carbon, I'll say 4 minus number of lines or bonds. Now, why did I say 4? Because carbon can hold maximum of how many bonds? 4 bonds. So if you look at this guy, so let's label this place A, B, C, D and E. So this is carbon A, carbon B, carbon C, carbon D, and E. Now carbon A is just having one line. This guy, this spot is carbon. Now the number of lines attached to this guy is just one. So for me to know the number of hydrogen that will be present on this carbon A, I'll say since this carbon A can be seen to have just one line attached to it, I'll now say 4 minus 1 is how many? Three. So this guy will have how many hydrogen? Three hydrogen. Carbon B, how many lines can we see is attached to carbon B? Two lines. This and this is you know so. So for me to know the number of hydrogens here, I'll say four minus two, right? So here becomes CH2. Carbon C has how many lines? Three lines. One, two, and what? Three. Four minus three is what? One. So here would be CH. Carbon E has just one line. 4 minus 1 will give us what? And carbon D has just one line. Is it not so? So this becomes CH3. So this is actually how so I said to know the number of hydrogens on each carbon. First, you need to know that all these points are carbon. Is it not so? You first of all write it out. Right? Now we call it skeletal because skeletal, when even Normal skeleton of a body does not have all the components, is it not so? So if you want to transform this guy from skeletal to normal, you need to add hydrogens. So first, we look at this. This point is carbon. How many lines can you see is making contact with this? One line. So I'll now say number of hydrogen is 4 minus number of lines. 4 minus number of lines is 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. That's why here is CH3. Hydrogen is 3 here. This guy has two lines. 4 minus 2 is 2. That's why he has two hydrogens. Here he has three lines. 1, 2, 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. That's why he has one hydrogen. One hydrogen. Right? So, if I come here and say...
How many carbons do you think we're going to have here? Nine. Now, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Correct. Nine carbons. So, this is basically how we interpret um, skeletal formula into normal compounds. Let's look at this example. We have I gave us this so as to explain something now, right? Now look up. This guy, there's a carbon here. This, this is actually a double bond. So there's a carbon here, this guy. There's a double bond. There's a carbon here, which is this guy. There's a single bond. There's this double bond. Carbon here carbon here. So that is it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now what we are going to do next is, how many lines can you see actually on this? Please, this place is considered to be a carbon, right? How many lines can you see is on this carbon? Two lines, right? Now for me to know the number of hydrogens on this carbon, I would say four minus two because Carbon is supposed to have maximum of four bonds, right? So if two of the bonds is already taking this line, the two remaining one will be hydrogens. The number of hydrogens will be four minus number of lines or bond. So since we have two lines here, four minus two, hey, CH2. This guy, how many lines can you see is attached to this guy? So let's call this guy A, B, C, D, and E. A, carbon A, carbon B, carbon C, D. How many, how many lines can you see is attached to this, this point here? Three lines. One, two, and three. Did you know so? So two lines here, one line here. So number of lines on that guy is three, right? So the number of hydrogens on, on this carbon B will now be four minus three, which is how many? One. So here becomes CH. Same thing here. One, two, three. Is it not so? Three lines already is on this carbon, right? How many hydrogen will we have here? Same thing here. How many hydrogen? Because one, two, three. How many hydrogen are we going to have here? Three. Because this is one line, right? Four minus one. Class, this is interpretation of this. If you want to name this guy, so the reason why I did this is because when, when we start nomenclature, I may not be using this all the times. I can use this and we name it. So you don't say, ah, how do we get this? How do we get that? All right, so now let's, let's look at this guy. I feel a lot of us will actually fall to the trap. There's a trap here. A triple bond, remember when we did hybridization recently, I said hybridization Carbon that has a triple bond has a bond angle of 180, you know so. Class, on no account should you bend a carbon that has a triple bond. You can never see something like this. The bond angle between this and this is not 180. Right? Carbon that has a triple bond, the bond angle has to be what? One, that is why anytime you have a triple bond, Right? The bonds are always linear, like linear. So a triple bonded carbon must have this. So that from here to here, bond angle is what? So if I'm doing a line structure, this, if I do this, this is wrong. Because the bond angle here is not 180. Right? Now look up. In case somebody comes and do this for you guys. Class, let's indicate the carbons in this compound. There is one carbon here. Where, where is the second carbon? Here. 
Yeah. yeah. Good. There is a carbon here. Yes, it's it it, it, was, it was not indicated, but there is a carbon here. Take note of that. There is a carbon here. If the triple bond was was to cover all of this place, uh -huh. but for me to have stopped the triple bond here, is it not so? It means that there is a carbon where these two lines of the triple bond is stopping. And there is another carbon here. There's another carbon here. There's another carbon here. So this guy has carbon one, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So now look at this. So the next thing we're going to do here, let's interpret. Carbon A, you put carbon A here. You put your triple bond, one, two, three. Carbon B. Carbon C. Carbon D. Carbon E. Carbon what? F. Now, let's start asking ourselves, how many lines can you see, or how many bonds can you see on this carbon? This carbon has three, three lines, you know so? This bond can be counted for this and can also be counted for this. So this guy have one, two, three, four minus three is how many? So here we have how many hydrogen? One. Is this carbon going to have any hydrogen? No, because this is one, two, three, and what? Four. Four minus three is what? Zero. Remember, four minus number of lines, right? So if, if any carbon is holding four bonds or four lines, that guy will not have any hydro hydrogen again. So this guy is zero. How many hydrogen, how many lines can you see here? Two lines, right? So we say four minus two is how many? Two. Same thing here, two lines. Two lines. Three lines. Let's look at this guy. Now, this is, like I said, um, no matter how complex the skeletal structure may tend to look, it should not actually confuse you. Just ensure you follow the concept and the principle. Every end of line, every end of line, intersection or edge represents carbon. So this point, this end of line, 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 they all represent carbon. These are intersections where two or more lines meet. All right? Now, these lines you're seeing here stand for bond that joins the atoms, the carbon atoms together. So if, if I come here, this carbon, this carbon here is this one. So I can decide to say carbon A, carbon B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So carbon A is this guy. This line here is this line. This carbon B. This carbon C. Carbon D. Carbon E. Now, on carbon C, this point is a carbon. This intersection. There is a carbon here. Now, this edge, there is a carbon here. Here, there is a carbon here. Here, there is a what? Now, so that is it. So this is carbon F, G, and what? So it's now left for you to start adding hydrogens, right? Each carbon can, cannot have more than four bonds. So now, this carbon A is having just one bond. For me to know the number of hydrogens, I will say 4 minus 1. So 4 minus 1 will give us what? Here will give us what? 2. Because here has two bonds. This guy has three bonds. 1, 2, 3. Not two. So how many hydrogens will be here? 1, 2, 3, 3. Three. Any hydrogen here? No, because this guy is already having how many bonds? One, two, three, four. So that is it.